I'm Zachary Fowler. This is Trick Shot Tuesday. Underwater slingshot. Is it possible? I've never tried this before. Steel, ammo, round shot. Here we go. Let's try this. Trick Shot Tuesday. Whoa. Got gun. Got water. We got water. Zach, what? Holy cow! Underwater slingshot. We've got a great idea, something I've always wanted to do, shoot a slingshot underwater. I have purposely never tried it in my pool just so I could do it first time and my first time reaction would be with you guys as you're watching it. So we got all kinds of slingshots. I rigged up my hammer just in case it doesn't work so we can shoot darts. But first we're gonna get to shooting some of these guys with regular steel ammo. I got the sorter out just because I want to see, you know, 7 16th steel, um, 8 millimeter. Will one travel further than the other? We're not even sure if this is going to work at all. In fact, these guys think it won't work. I don't know. I mean, the slow mo guys, I've seen them shoot like 45 caliber handguns underwater and they go like four feet. I don't know. One foot max. One foot max. One foot max? That's, that's really selling it short. I, I think. Because the slingshot is um, not as fast, maybe it could go further. Because like when you jump off a high place and your feet hit the water off of a diving board, it's like smack, it's like hitting, it's almost like hitting pavement. The higher you go, the harder you hit. So if a handgun shooting that through water, it's moving really fast, it's gonna hit more resistance. Whereas something moving slower, 
might not. So we have lead ammo here and I got some of that, which weighs about three times as much as its equal size partner. And we got the uh, little millimeter stuff. And just in case all that doesn't work, I have seen lots of videos on YouTube. People are sending me all the time of people using these darts for fishing. And I've custom rigged this guy as you saw at the beginning so it can shoot these. And especially though, I made the bands really short because these things are scary. I do not want this like going into my hand. Uh, and so when I rigged it right now, the band is really short. You lock the clip of that onto the band, and then that way, even as I draw it back, there's not much room. It may not go super fast. And so you just pull it back, Whoa. and uh, we'll save that for the pool. I need to get my trunks on, and you guys can leave it in the comments below how far do you think a piece of round shot ammo from one of these slingshots is going to travel. Let's do it. Maybe I don't need that just yet. I'm actually not gonna use that mask because I have a beard. It just leaks. It leaks like a sieve. Let's get out there and try all of this out. Doing all this has given me all kinds of other ideas of like what else could we shoot underwater? Get the air rifle, you know? Um, like if we put uh, the air bow, the 50 caliber air bow, what would that do underwater? Uh, what else did I think of? Oh, a bow and arrow. I know other people have done it, but I want to try it myself. Oh, I was not ready for that. It's been so hot out. I think I will try. Oh, forgot to mention this earlier. My custom Sparrow is one of the first ones we'll shoot then. And it is now available on Fowler's Makery and Mischief. This is one I carved out of wood um, almost two years ago. I got sixth place in the East Coast Slingshot Tournament and then second place last year. And so Simple Shot and I have teamed up and they have made me a production slingshot that you guys can get from Simple Shot. Links in the description below or Fowler'sMakeryMischief.com in Fowler Orange. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna go with the uh, just 7 16th steel, just like I shoot all the time. We got GoPros everywhere. Cameras everywhere. We even made, you can see, our custom camera rock so we can film with the good camera underwater. Let's see if this works. I'm feeling less and less confident. Almost like the resistance of the bands, it's just gonna go and do nothing. We'll try. I can't, I can't shoot. I keep floating back to the top. I need some weights. Hook me up with those uh, those weights, Matt. <laughs> what is this? Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Which, for the record, is nothing to me. <laughs> nice. I can actually control it. No, I can stay under. Try again. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> the bands, it just, like it went, it didn't even make it past the end of the slingshot. I gotta try that again. What's, it went negative one foot. What's the ammo that you're using? The, that's the 716 steel. It's behind me over here somewhere. Yeah, it's behind. It literally ended up further behind me instead of in front. Let's try it one more time. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. Nothing, not at all. It's as if there's no power whatsoever to these bands. It just, it, they're so weak. Let me try the lead. 
it's almost like the cold too is affecting the bands like just like during the winter time when you try to shoot nothing Nope. Nada. That was the lead too. There's nothing. No travel with I'm gonna try tubes. Maybe short tubes. If they don't have to travel so far with the lead, it'll just uh tubes, maybe there won't be as much resistance on tubes. We can get something out of it. three inches <laughs> it's better than the other one but it's definitely not sailing across the other side to pop a balloon i should have prices right at matt and just said uh, 11 inches minus or something <laughs> I would have had the yeah all right here we go we're gonna try it again with a smaller millimeter maybe that'll do do it <laughs> whoa you got such a tiny head <laughs> A tiny head on a big body? Yeah. <laughs> it's... Alright, here we go. Actually impressive. <laughs> nope. nope. The longer the bands are, the same thing. It's just nothing. Just boop, and they just... They go to their relaxed state at like here and the ammo falls straight down. That That's kind of a bummer. They're getting like nothing out of this. And we got these tar beautiful targets at the other end that we haven't killed. I mean, there's nothing to it but to switch it up and go darts now, I think. And, see if, and see if this works. I don't... Now I'm worried that even this won't work because I've shortened these bands so much that it's just not gonna go very far. All right, I see a problem with this. I should have had more stretch to it. I was afraid of cutting my hand and jabbing one into my hand, but there's just not enough stretch to really get them moving. Uh, both of them are laying at the foot of the target. So I think we gotta go make a longer band set. All right, we haven't given up yet. I got some new uh, uh, stuff to try out here. We got the pocket shot with arrows and I got the new bands. So if somebody orders one of these hammer slingshots from our website and you don't get the uh, right bands, I just robbed them out of your pack. No, I'm kidding. We'll put new ones in. Dart shooting band. There we go. Ah, now I'm like, now I'm super scared to try it. Those darts, like, if that doesn't go straight, and the way things are curving through the water, that just seems, I don't know what I could do. Like, I need, like, a gauntlet. I need that gauntlet that I, what do I have? A piece of tin or something. All right, little exclamation point here. Click on, all right, big feather strong, it's lean. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, just kill this guy real quick. Oh, too easy. All right, let go, come back to this lady, hello. Oh, interesting. Hmm, the gauntlet of mischief. Black duct tape. Making a gauntlet, making a gauntlet here. Creative juices are flowing. 
Oh, I feel better already. This is gonna work. Matt, duck tape me up. Tape me into the slingshot. Oh, that's gonna work great. Yeah, that's like heavy duty uh, conveyor belt material right there that we use for making slingshot targets sometimes. This reminds me of my video idea I wanted to do. Like, if you if one of your hands was a slingshot, you know, like a day in a life of the man with the uh, Edward slingshot hands. Edward slingshot hands. Yeah. <laughs> Like what would you do all day long? You're walking around, you like turn the light switch on with your slingshot, stirring your eggs in the pan with the slingshot. <laughs> We're ready. Let's do this. <laughs> that was bubbles in my shorts. That wasn't, that wasn't any. <laughs> I did get all four shots off, and they all four were like, Phew. I tried to aim higher every time, but they still seem to go down. It's hard to hold on to them. I felt like there's potential there though. Where is that archery trigger? I felt like I probably only had like five pounds of pressure on draw weight, and this has about somewhere between 32 and 36 pounds of pressure of draw weight. But when the bands are cold like this underwater, I bet I can get a good 25. You take this archery trigger and you clip it onto there and that gives you more strength. So you're pulling back with your hand, you're not just trying to pinch onto things. And then once it's all the way, then you let give it a think and it... Wait, how am I going to do that? Because I have to hold the dart too. Alright, we'll give it a try and see what happens. You want Matt to get in and hold the dart? <laughs> yeah, Matt, hold the dart. <laughs> I, I couldn't see where it went, but it is over there at the target. But it felt very scary because I'm drawing back on it and this dart is just dangling there while I'm holding the trigger system. Yeah. And it's just dangling here sideways and then I, I pull the trigger and so I, assuming, even though it's sideways and stuff, it's zipping forward and it's, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. I can't see where they're going. That I one, felt uh, that. That one missed the board, but it hit against the side of the pool. Yeah, I it, felt. You felt oh. it hit the pool? Yeah. I did felt it, it on my on my leg. It? No. no. Guys out. You remember these? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why did I just listen to you? <laughs> yeah, Walk and look. <laughs> yeah, first try. First hundredth try. Let's see if we can hit the can now. I'm gonna move that to the middle. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> yes! <laughs> I only had to get four, four feet away, but it's a through and through. <laughs> Let me out, Matt! <laughs> Cut me free. Maybe we'll try the uh, pocket shot hammer. It um, appears to be missing parts. Missing its whisper biscuit. Do you want me to go inside? Uh, I have no shot? idea where the whisper biscuit is. Matt does. No. Yeah, I, have a, I know where all <laughs> the whisper Actually, biscuits I don't think are. I need it. I can't tell if Zach was joking about a whisper biscuit. No, it's a real thing. I don't think it's a problem. The arrow just won't be super duper. No, I won't be able to aim it. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. He says it's fine. We're gonna give it a try. Yeah. We're gonna just, we'll just go for it. A little, a little game called Not My Pool. So. Yeah. Hey, the arrows float too. So after we shoot them, they a little game called Not My Pool. <laughs> Worse than the dart. That went nowhere. That was like so anticlimactic. Wait, did it die right where it floated to the top? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It went like four feet, and that was it. Because of the the chamber is all full of water, so we might have to switch to the other one and get the whisper biscuit. Let's try one more time. <laughs> Not a real thing. Can't be a real thing. Whisper biscuit. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it was a dead on track. It was dead on for yeah, the looked, for the can. That looked it like just it was got hit. it just floated up to the can and came to a stop and then went. I think it just doesn't have enough power. We need those other we need the whisper biscuit. I think it would be bad if we brought some of those like chemical hand warmers and I could like put those in my shirt and stuff and just throw them all in the pool, throw. like 250 of them. <laughs> There's a video. What happens if you throw 500 chemical hand warmers in a pool? <laughs> And as you can see, I'm a lot happier. <laughs> I gotta see what this thing looks like. Is it real? Oh, oh that's a whisper biscuit. Wait. They call it a whisper biscuit because if you listen really close. Did you hear that? It's got quite the mouth on it. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. She's rigged now. Oh, and I just realized something. You know what? I think the arrows don't want to travel that well through the water. They got feathers on them. Because any bit of resistance is going to create some drag. We'll take it off of this one. And uh, and then we can... They're like $60 arrows, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, arrows are in. That's in. I just have to get back in. And I don't want to get back in. I'm getting cold. Oh! <laughs> that hit? <laughs> it hit the can! It hit the can, but it was like, ping! Yeah, I don't think it, it, it was, actually got like in. It hit it, with such a, it hit it so lightly that it didn't even, <laughs> it didn't even make a mark. Like, that's the whole from the other thing. That was uninspirational. Well, I think that about does it. We tried all kinds of different stuff. It is just not meant to be that a slingshot is shot underwater. The darts, it did hit the can, but that was at a very short range. I think the trick to something that's moving underwater is that I'll have to literally build a special slingshot if I'm to succeed at this. Shooting something across the pool with any power, it needs weight and or some sort of dart length. Arrows, but like heavy, heavy arrows, so I need a heavy, heavy draw weight. And it's definitely not meant to happen with the round ammo. That was just ridiculous how that just sunk to the bottom. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this because I'm cold. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler out. <laughs>
Not so good though. Wow. That um, the girls are gonna be mad at me about that, I think. <laughs> Sorry, Abby. If you'd like to know why and how the pool actually broke, check out the behind the scenes video linked in the description below, as well as links for Fowler's Makerymischief.com and Simple Shot, where you can find the one and only Sparrow Slingshot. You just flooded your neighbor's yard. <laughs> I went for the I'm gonna go ahead and start a fire. <laughs>